I'll fix it. Oh, this computer is gonna drive me insane. Yep, fixed it. It is fixed. So it it, it wasn't degradation as I as I first thought it was. She certainly acted like it, but now it's not. So I fixed it. I'm currently running it, running at one, uh, 4.5 gigahertz at 1.428 volts. And uh, yeah, it is great. So you're wondering what the hell happened. Well, okay, let me explain it to you as fast as possible. Okay. So basically what happened was um, I, I did, I, I unplugged the CPU from the socket at least three or four times, three or four times. I unplugged the CPU from the socket, put it back in nothing happened it was the same thing and this time i actually did it i took the cpu out turned the computer on yell at the motherboard like yeah that's what you get yeah boy no cpu how does it feel and then i turn it off put the cpu back in and the damn thing works i don't know i don't know i'm afraid to take the cpu back out and put it back in i'm afraid it might not work again maybe it's something an issue with the motherboard socket I hope not, because I'm planning on reselling the computer, not the computer, but the motherboard and all that stuff. Um, it, it works now, everything, everything, it's it's fine. So what I'm gonna do on Monday, I'm gonna try it again, um, because I have the Intel bill coming. I'll get into that very soon. But one thing I did notice uh, with OCCT versus um, A, A, A data uh, was that A data sucked ass. I am sorry, it sucked ass. I have the CPU at 4.8 gigahertz at 1.5 volts, just to see it find an error. Of course, I could have done this with like at 4.5, at 1.380 volts and have the same thing, but I just wanted to check it out more. Whatever, it doesn't really matter, okay? 4.8 gigahertz, 1.5 volts, and I stress tested it with both OCCT and with um, A data. And there's a reason why I don't like A data, because I stressed it with A data and it was fine for 10 minutes in. I stressed it with OCCT and OCCT found an error about one minute in a little over one minute one minute 27 seconds 28 seconds whatever it found it under two minutes it found an error OCC a data took 10 minutes and it still didn't found it like it was still looking still stressing it out and pushing it everything to the limit and it didn't find it this is the reason why I, I, I hate a data maybe it's just an a and b thing maybe it's just maybe some kind of configuration issue it was up to date it was the latest version all right and i, I don't know maybe it's just with the amd platform i don't know if it's gonna be the same thing with intel i just it just didn't push the cpu hard enough and with a data the, the temperature was around 50 ish and with um occt it pushed it all the way up to like near 60. It worked the processor a lot harder. It was able to find that issue a lot faster. So you might be out there like overclocking your rig, AMD speaking, because I I haven't tried it with Intel. I'm gonna do that like on Monday, Tuesday, whatever, when I get the time. With your AMD rig, or at least my rig in particular, with A data, you're stressing. You're like, oh shit, one hour in, you're fine. And then with OCCT, you stress it again, and you find that you got an error like 30 minutes in, or 35 or 40 minutes in. It's it's, I don't. Okay, whatever, but I guess it's just the way it is with the programs. Anyway, um, that's kind of what that is. And I'm going to do more testing into that to see what is what's up, especially with the Intel platform that I'm going to be getting on Monday. I can't stress it enough. Oh my God, it's right around the corner. I can't wait. I can't wait. Intel, oh my God. Like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you guys are using ADATA, especially with AMD, maybe maybe it's not, maybe you can do that test to yourselves if you do have the platform, um, AMD or Intel. Stress it with ADATA for 10 minutes and then stress it with OCCT. It doesn't have to fail, but look at the temperature differences. You can tell how hard it's actually stressing the CPU when you see OCCT is pushing it like faster and it's like higher compared to um, A data. So yeah, go ahead and if you want, you can run that test. Maybe let me know, see what see what your findings are. But that, that was just my findings. I don't use Prime 95. I just think it's kind of outdated, I guess. I don't know. I just... I don't know, this, this is what I feel. But I might do a comparison between all three, um, trying to get use a, a settings that's not compatible, is not stable, and see how long each one takes to find it. And I don't know how that well that's gonna work out, but we'll see. I think that'd be a pretty interesting video. And this is the, reason, the main reason why I use, you know, OCCT compared to others. 
um, especially well just between prime a data and OCCT I know you have the Intel stuff and blah 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 all that I would just I just stick with the OCCT because it seems good a lot of people recommend it um, but most people some people use a data I still don't think it's great to really stress the CPU in my case um, it does display a lot of information which is really good uh, but I, I think in terms of stressing the CPU and really finding that error it's just not for me I'm, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna try it again I'm not gonna give up on it yet I will try it again on the Intel platform when I get it on Monday Intel. and then for the record I am not okay see it's CPU right now is great for games it's okay for everything else but for more productivity more speed I gotta go Intel AMD ain't doing nothing what is AMD doing right now nothing shit Monday I'm gonna be getting the new platform I'm gonna be moving to the Intel section side of things to really learn mainly too. to I want to learn about it you know I've been, I've been AMD for a really long time but I want to move on move over and try it out and get to know it so I think that's good nice good learning experience for the Intel side of things which is kind of similar but you know there's more things to it there's more to it and I like more I am going to be going with the 4790k it's not going to be the 5820k like I wanted things changed prices changed boards became unavailable especially the Asus boards um, so I decided to just go ahead and buy the Z97 part yeah it's gonna be four cores you know but uh, it is gonna be cheaper and uh, yeah, I, I had everything planned out for the six score, but it just, just didn't go as planned. If everything just held itself for maybe like a week or two more, okay, for two or three more weeks, shit, kind of long, but everything just went, you know, all over the place. Um, the CPU was the same, the memory was not that bad. It went up a little bit more uh, compared to when I first saw it, but it, it really came down to the, the motherboard killed it. <laughs> Yo, the motherboard killed it. So it died because of the motherboard. So I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and get up, get the 4790K, get the Asus motherboard, um, and you know, work my way from there. Uh, try that out, try that platform out. It's really the mainstream platform. So I wanna try it out, see the performance gains and productivity, not gains, productivity. And I still think AMD still has a benefit here when, it, when DirectX 12 comes out. Huge performance gains in my opinion. If you want to, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. The username is not official. Jesus Christ. It's like Fabian.Robinson. I think I want something else. Maybe, maybe not. I'll probably just leave it as that. Uh, maybe we move the dot, replace it with something else looking cool. Something cool looking. I don't know. You know, be more a little, little more hip. Yeah, you'll be on my Instagram. You'll be able to see everything I post in there first. Pictures and all that stuff. Anything that happens, I'm going to start doing that now. Okay? Now I'm going to start doing that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, uh, don't be afraid to leave in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, Monday.